All right, KMR, welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk some rotary. We're talking some brap. I apologize for the airline in the background. I'm just in the middle of work right now, but I wanted to stop and talk about something that I quite often see in modern castings. This is a, a Mazda RX-8 Renesis center housing. And you can see as I'm doing porting, not only am I porting for the uh, intake port timing and exhaust port timing, but we can also look at our uh, intake side where the airflow is coming in from the intake manifold. And uh, some of Mazda's castings sometimes are fairly offset. It looks like there was some core shift or some plug shift, and that caused this intake port to actually be uh, not only not square, but have some offset to it. So when I'm doing porting, it's always important uh, to look at this intake side as well. Um, we want to square this up. Uh, some of the ways we can do that, pretty simple. You can overlay your intake manifold gasket, scribe that on there, square things up a little bit. Um, I also will use a straight edge or a ruler sometimes to help define exactly how unsquare it is because the intake manifold is generally going to sit square to the motor. Um, I've used some die chem on here. That's that uh, pigment you see. I'll be able to use a sharp edge or a... Uh, uh, just a pointy tool um, to scribe in my line, nice sharp line, and then I can proceed with porting this intake manifold side and not only squaring things up, but matching it to the gasket and intake manifold itself, um, which when we started to check into our touring cars, uh, when we were trying to get all the performance we could out of the Renesis engine, um, this type of modification did make a difference. We'd end up port matching the intake manifold to the motor, uh, making sure that we were getting nice matched volume flow. There was no sharp edges, offsets. So when we talk about our intake porting and sometimes exhaust porting, it's not just about making it bigger or changing the port timing, which you can see we are doing. Uh, we're removing some of that material to bring in more volume. Um, we're not changing the timing much on the Renesis center, but we are bringing in more volume and matching up our intake manifold. So just some uh, supporting tips, tips, tricks, things we look at. Uh, this is a brand new RX-8 center, so fresh from Mazda. So I've got some tape on it. I want to keep it protected even after 20 years. Last thing I want to do is scratch up a new housing. But uh, I'd already started to grind on this. You can see you've got this big offset here. I'd already started to do some, some cross hatching back and forth to level that out, bring that offset down. And I thought to myself, you know, I should talk about how I do this um, and the importance of it. You don't want to have that intake manifold air come in and hit this sharp lip. That will disrupt the flow, cause turbulence, and actually make the port even smaller than it is uh, effectively. So there you go. I think that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. You know, KMR, we've got porting templates, we've got rotary stuff on the shelf, uh, we've got some new products in the works, um, and we're always very grateful to be affiliated and uh, partnered with Mazda Tricks. They've helped me out in the race program for so many years, and I was their engine builder for quite a long time. Now I've got my own shop, but uh, if you need any parts or services, reach out to KMR, reach out to Mazda Tricks. We got you covered. Thanks for watching. I gotta go back to work. <laughs>